So, hey, we got a uh, series two going on. We just did uh, the mega flake, the flake II from Gilbert Engineering. I wanted to show you a little bit what we did on this side of the yard this year to really add a lot. Uh, we turned the mega tree 45 degrees. Uh, on one hand, I didn't want it directly facing my neighbor's house. So this, now when you're dead center in our show, everything is lined up perfectly there. If you watch any of the drone footages, you'll see the OCD that went into the lines of the show. Uh, we had these eight foot little trees. This actually was one singer, singular round tree from Lowe's many years ago. We did pixel strips on here. So we upgraded the mega tree to one inch this year. These are still at three inch, leaves me room to update, but it gives a lot of effects. Uh, we had some issues painting it, so we're gonna try that again this year. Now, still left a lot to be desired on this side of the house. So we did these fireworks that you saw at the top of the flake eye eye. We got three on each side, two sets of five, and a set of four. So those are actually garden trellises that you guys can get at any of your big uh, lumber supply places. Home Depot, Menards, it doesn't matter. Uh, Candace suggested putting some of the Mickey Flakes on here, so that gave it another, got some spinners over here, another effect, along with the globe up top. Uh, I think I got that from Mr. Peace a few years ago. Uh, <laughs> thousands upon thousands of zip ties up there. Same thing, we used ASAP poles uh, design and cemented the bases of the trusses in there zip tied the living heck out of those things to those uh, had to use some guy wires because use guy wires let's be smart uh, and those didn't move all year now one thing that did come down when uh, unfortunately i was out of the state this did fall over so late in the season my wife and her father had to add some more uh, arms on here to keep it in the ground but it didn't move since so what i wanted to do was try to fill this area in and also the way it's angled spread the yard out so those had two quartets used to be on the roof we're going to be on the side of the house this year but i wanted to try to get them in here get some singing faces going and but i wanted them to be able to be seen so just one day i was in the lumber aisle and uh just the idea for kind of doing some kind of something like this so just did some two by threes going up uh, or two by fours going up, two by three crossbars, some arms in the back, and we were able to get both the joy sign and these candy canes, which we also pixelated uh, to get it above it. Later in the year, had to put another order in, so I grabbed four of the Gilbert Engineering XLRS. Uh, those are the 36 inch snowflakes. Uh, those are the reason that this did want to topple over because we made it a little bit too top heavy. Uh, it will show you how it looks in the back here in a minute. But the goal was to get this up higher off the ground. And it does mimic the, uh, the lines that we have on the props on the house and really spread all of this out. So if we could safely come back here, uh, some of the wireframes that we did, these were the nutcrackers. Each one of these, I did each one of these every one of these lights has two or three zip ties on it. Uh, and then you had to go into X lights and build it and do it. That was a lot of fun. So, so we did a lot of stuff back here. We got spikes in the ground. We got sand, uh, uh, bags of sand down here, blocks, everything we can. And as you can see, using, uh, using 3D printed mounts, a lot of those, I think all of those I got from uh, Inspire uh, light shows. Uh, Doug Real does a great job with those. Uh, make sure you actually use the correct infill and layers. I didn't know that my first year of printing stuff, so you had that. But uh, use EMT on the backings of those, and we use clamps to connect those, little pipe clamps to connect those all to it. Late in the year, I also added these pixel matrix uh, to them. Those are just your poor man pixel poles and that added a lot of more cool effects uh, over engineer everything guys so we got ties uh, we got arms going both ways which like i said i made it top heavy it stayed for a good month and a half but once we added those flakes up top apparently all that extra emt weight took it down uh, i got everything over here 
these two props running on only two K32s. Uh, we actually did all the firework stands using one of the new SRX uh, fours, I believe, uh, which are the eight port uh, expansions. I'm actually gonna be adding a lot of those. Like I was saying, these are just garden trellises, painted them black, uh, added uh, those green tomato stakes, garden stakes to them to extend them out. Uh, got it from a great person in the community, the idea, but I didn't want to exactly copy it, so I had to take it to the extreme uh, and jump it up. Thank you, Ron, for that. Uh, but yeah, we had to add weight to this. I just let the water fill up and freeze. That added uh, more weight to it. A lot of zip ties. My OCD normally doesn't allow this, but uh, we got to the point we stopped cutting every zip tie. I usually tighten these down and cut them, but we got so busy and adding so much late in the year. You'll see there's dye wires everywhere. Don't walk through here. You will get your head like clamped off. Uh, we got the Matos Sasquatch system going on on the tree. This is the third year now. We can crank it up, crank it down, and uh, that even my wife can do it if she needs to. We don't lower it when the winds go. If you notice, I got 3D printed clips all the way through there and wires through there, which really made a huge difference with the wind. Uh, it, it Before that, this thing would just flop around. Now it just barely budges. Uh, only using two uh, outlets on the house to run pretty much this whole side over here and uh you know there's a lot going on here wires are everywhere you don't see these anywhere else uh, i made a lot of wires myself uh pigtails cutting the ends splicing into uh your uh, 16 free power cords you get a lot of a lot of de-electric grease throughout here another thing that we did that i didn't show you on the other side with is we do actually also have 18 inch stakes in the ground and ratchet straps to keep these from going both ways so everything has a lot of extra engineering over engineer it pay the extra you'll be glad when stuff doesn't topple over when it doesn't break when it doesn't go so this added so much if you look at our videos from 2022 compared to 2023 what we did over here and put up another arch over there added so much to it and the way that everything's on an angle from the house it, it, it almost makes it look twice as big as what it actually is so that was a really cool effect uh, thank you uh, Walt Disney for using force perspective on that but uh, it's starting to get cold here it's starting to snow uh, we're both a little sick from being out directing traffic so there'll be some more behind the scenes videos coming over the next couple days uh, we want to thank everybody who made it out once again if you have any questions you know, if I can do this, it could definitely be done by anybody. And, uh, you know, this was year three for us, uh, year four. I have some ideas, but uh, let's go a little old school. So looking forward to uh, what the next brand new year brings us. We do have an extra day being a leap year. Uh, the ducks are finally like, okay, it's way too cold. We're getting out of Ohio. And, um, you know, if you have any questions, just let us know.